going on everybody welcome to another fright time installment in this one i've got some unboxings to do or some unenvelopings i feel weird calling it an unboxing because they don't ship these in boxes anymore but anyways i picked up some movies figured i'd open them up with you guys everyone seemed to really like the uh the blu-ray update video so i'd like to do more of these and i figured this could be sort of a part of that same thing but before i get into it if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel Hit the bell notification so you never miss a video from us because you know we're pumping out weekly content. Uh, head on over to the Facebook page. Give us a follow. Fright Time is live every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook. We have special guests. We do live shops. Sometimes we watch a movie with you guys. Sometimes we just shoot the shit and have general conversation. Always horror related, so don't worry about that. Um... And uh, like, like I keep saying, if you haven't yet, go back and revisit or visit for the first time uh, um, all these videos that we've done in the past. We have a ton of stuff that's already uploaded right here exclusively on YouTube, including our newest podcast, It's Another Horror Podcast. So check us out, subscribe, follow, do all the things so you never miss us. And we have an Instagram too. I never plug the Instagram, but we're also on Instagram if you want to follow us over there. Anyways, ordered myself a few more movies because I'm a, I'm addicted to buying movies, um, and I figured I'd uh, share them with you with you guys here today. So I'm gonna open this one first because this feels like just one single movie, and the other one has a couple, I think three in it. If if they shipped them all together, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is cool. This is a uh, Screen Factory slash Code Red release. I didn't... Did I know that they, they work together like that? I don't know. This one is Final Exam. This is a fun uh, slasher movie from the 80s, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's an 80s film. Let me see before I make a fool of... Yeah, 1981. Um, this is a cool one. I haven't seen this one in a long time. But I've seen it more than once, and I remember enjoying it, so I figured, you know, I think it was like less than 15 bucks on Amazon, so I figured, you know, I'll officially put it in the collection. Don't own a copy of it at all, so this is not an upgrade or anything like that. This is just a first time I own for me. If you haven't seen this, it's worth it, especially if you're into 80s slashers. And this was, like I said, this was 81, so this was in the early stages of the slashers before the genre became completely oversaturated with, um... Was slasher on top of slasher on top of slasher on top of slasher. <laughs> it just got ridiculous, but I love all of them. But yeah, some may pass the test. God help the rest. Like that. But yeah, like I said, this is a Scream Factory slash Code Red release, which is cool. I like that. All right, next package. Easy tear for easy opening. Cool. Looks like they shipped the rest of them together. So there's three more Blu-rays in here. Technically four movies. And what I mean by that is I finally picked this up. I've been I've been dying to get this this double feature. It's another Scream Factory. Actually, these are all Scream Factories, right? Yep, these are all Scream Factory, and I didn't even do that on purpose. But yeah, this is a double feature that's been out for quite some time. It's one that I've wanted for quite some time as well. And it's the Bad Dreams slash Visiting Hours double feature from Scream Factory. Both of these are really cool movies, both worth owning in my opinion. And this is a pretty cool double feature set. Um, Scream Factory does a lot of these double features, and most of them are pretty awesome. I own most of them. This is one that I haven't owned, don't know why, because both of these movies are really fun. I remember seeing Bad Dreams on FearNet. Anybody out there remember FearNet? Um, on demand or whatever from fucking years ago. I remember watching Bad Dreams back then because um, somebody said it was like a Nightmare on Elm Street ripoff, and I was like, let me see what, let me see about that. Um, and Visiting Hours is a good one. We actually watched that for Fright Time um, for the Video Nasties list, I believe. It was one of the Video Nasties lists. Prosecuted or unprosecuted films? I'm not really sure. I don't really remember. But, um, yeah, this is a cool double feature. You have both movies on one handy disc from Scream Factory. Can't beat it. Next up is an upgrade. 
and I upgraded this. Actually, the last video I uploaded was an unboxing of a pumpkin head mask from Trick or Treat Studios. And around the same time that I bought the mask, I had realized that I don't own Pumpkinhead on any format except for VHS. And I think that's it. I don't even think I own it on DVD. So I said, you know what? It's time to upgrade. And I got the Screen Factory Blu-ray with that wonderful artwork with Lance Hendrickson standing next to the Pumpkinhead. Yeah, so this one's more or less an upgrade. Um... Because I've, like I said, I think I only own the VHS copy of this. And it's the same VHS I had as a kid, which is cool. But um, for each of man's evils, a special demon exists. Pumpkinhead is that demon. But yeah, I mean, what can I really say about Pumpkinhead that I didn't say in the last video? Um, it's one of my favorite creature creations of all time. Stan Winston fucking, you know, I love Pumpkinhead. It's a great movie. I even really like the sequel, um, Blood Wings, I believe it's called. And um, the rest of them are so-so. But um, yeah, this was a good one. This is one I wanted to upgrade for sure. Uh, it's got a lot of special features. This is the thing I love about these Scream Factories. They all put a bunch of special features on them. Um, even the double feature has some special features, which is cool. But yeah, so Pumpkinhead, the collector's edition. Um, obviously this doesn't come with the slip cover, which I don't really care personally. Uh, I just wanted to own the movie and, um, with all of Scream Factory's releases underneath it is the original artwork as well. So I could always change that out, but I actually really like this new artwork too. So I'll probably keep that there. And here's another one. This is, um, this is an upgrade technically, even though I don't know where the DVD is. I must've lost it or lent it out to somebody and never got it back whatever the case is uh, but this is a movie I saw a few years ago and I really liked it and I know there's a sequel to it which I haven't seen yet but I'd like to because you know I've heard it's pretty good uh, but this is Witchboard this is also the Scream Factory release which again was a total accident I did not mean to do that um but this one's cool. It's like a Ouija board movie about some kids and fucking around with things that they shouldn't be fucking around with. Um, like I said, I saw this probably like two or three years ago for the first time. Um, I had a DVD copy of it and uh, I thought it was a really cool movie. So I think I lent it out to somebody and I don't talk to that person anymore. So I'll probably never get it back. So I figured, hey, you know what? It's a good time to upgrade it and, and pick this up. All of these were cheap too. All of these were like under 15 bucks, which is another reason why I grabbed a couple of them because why not, right? But um, yeah, when you open the door to the unknown, there's no telling who will drop in or who will drop dead. Fucking love these these catchphrases and these little taglines and shit. They're so funny. Um, but this is um, directed by Kevin Tenney, who also directed uh, Night of the Demons, one of my favorite uh, demons films from the uh, from the 80s. So this is, you know, this is a good one as well. I recommend this one for those who haven't seen it, Witchboard. Um, and like I said, these are all on Amazon right now for ooh, for fairly good prices. Let me just throw everything everywhere. Um, so that's my little haul, my little Blu-ray haul. Nothing, nothing crazy, you know, nothing too big, nothing wild. But I figured I'd share it with you guys. And again, if you want to see us uh, review any of these movies or talk about any of them specifically, let us know. And, and we will. But until next time... Keep it creepy. Fright exclusive merchandise available through Barnfire today. Long sleeves, hoodies, crewnecks, t-shirts, and more. Various sizes and colors to choose from. Visit us today and dress your flesh.